Moringa plant is beginning to gain more popularity as a new superfood for its highly nutritious profile and powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and tissue protective properties among many other health benefits. Malungae or Moringa oleifera, also known as horse radish tree, bent tree, or drumstick tree, is a small tree from India, Pakistan, and Nepal that has been used for generations in eastern countries to treat and prevent diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, anemia, arthritis, liver disease, and respiratory, skin, and digestive disorders. Moringa has become popular as a natural leaf powder supplement, although the pods, roots, bark, flowers, seeds, and fruits are also edible. Listed below are some of the traditional herbal treatment of Malungay. 1. Scalp Problems Malungay leaves pounded and combined with coconut oil is used to treat scalp problems and to promote hair growth. 2. Boosts Immune System Boiled Malungay leaves contain immune-boosting nutrients used in sickness recovery. 3. Milk Production in Nursing Mothers Boiled malungate leaves used to promote milk production in nursing mothers. 4. Asthma. Malungate leaves combined with honey and calamsia to treat cough and asthma. 5. Skin rejuvenation. Malungay is used as skin restorer to promote skin rejuvenation. 6. Hypertension. Malungay soup is used to lower high blood pressure. 7. Relaxant. Malungay tea from bark or leaves is used to treat insomnia and restlessness. 8. Anthelmintic. Malungay pod is chewed to treat and prevent intestinal parasites in children. 9. Diabetes. Malungay is also recommended for sufferers of diabetes. 10. Source of calcium. Malungay is consumed to strengthen the bones especially for growing children and older people due at high calcium content. 11. Anti-inflammatory. Malungay oil or poultice is used to treat bone and ligament related conditions that involve inflammation such as gout, rheumatism, back pain, sprains and all SRTS of swelling. 12. Eye Problems. Malungay is also used to improve eye problems. Believed to contain high amount of vitamin A, more than that of carrot. 13. Anti-cancer. Malungay is used along with other herbal medicines to treat cancer. Leaves and fruit used for constipation and as diuretic. 14. Skin diseases. Decoction of boiled roots used to wash sores, cuts, skin ulcers, wounds and other skin diseases to alleviate pain and promote healing. 15. Stomach problems. Malungay is also used for stomach and intestinal problems such as ulcers and constipation. 16. Abortifacient. Malungay roots and bark have been used as abortifacient. 17. Boosts fertility. Malungay flour with soy milk is used as aphrodisiac and promote fertility for men. 18. Contraceptive. While malungay roots are believed to suppress fertility, chewed as a contraceptive by women. 19. Snake bites. Malungay roots are also used to treat snake bites. 20. Ear problems. The juice from malungay roots is used to treat ear-related problems, otalgia. 21. Is moringa good for weight loss? Moringa is believed to have a positive impact when it comes to stimulating metabolism. This may as well mean helping your body burning calories at a faster rate. Moringa's leaves are rich in fiber content, an important factor when it comes to reducing cravings. This enables you to stick to a healthy diet that will help you lose weight. To cap it all, Moringa's weight loss formula is designed to help you consume fewer calories while ensuring that your body burns more fat in the course of the day. Moringa Recipes for Weight Loss Some of the Moringa weight loss recipes you may try out include 1. Superfood Moringa Smoothie You will need 1 cup of coconut milk 1 teaspoon of Moringa powder Half teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of cardamom. Half teaspoon of turmeric. Mix all the ingredients with water until they are evenly blended before drinking. 2. Health benefits of drinking Moringa tea. Drinking Moringa tea can help people who suffer from a number of conditions, including cancer, arthritis, gout, stomach upset, 
diarrhea, nausea, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, heart conditions, and even common cold. These benefits are largely due to the high levels of vitamin C, protein, potassium, calcium, vitamin A, and a number of flavonoids and polyphenolic antioxidants in the tea. How to make Moringa Tea Moringa tea is relatively easy to make, particularly if you are growing Moringa plants in your home garden. These are hardy plants and can be cultivated without much trouble. When fully grown, these small trees stand about 4 to 5 feet tall and can be cut back to approximately 1 to 2 feet in height, multiple times in the growing season. Those cut back branches will be filled with leaves that are perfect for making Moringa tea. It is important to wash the leaves thoroughly before hanging them to dry. To acquire the dry leaves for the tea, bundle the Moringa stalks with the rubber hand and hang them upside down in a dry, cool place. After 10 to 14 days, the stalks of leaves should be completely dried out. Place the leafy side of the stalks in a bag, crushing the stalks so the dry leaves fall off. Remove any larger stems from the mix of leaves. These leaves should then be stored in an airtight container, in a cool and dry place. When you are ready to use them, you can further crush, crumble or blend the Moringa leaves for tea, or even make Moringa powder, which can be used as a healthy remedy. Recipe Ingredients 1 teaspoon of dried Moringa leaves 1 cup hot water Honey Step 1 Scoop the Moringa leaves into a cup. Step 2 Add hot water and allow the leaves to steep for 3 to 5 minutes or until the color changes. Step 3. Mix in honey to taste. Note, this tea can be served both hot and cold, making it a year-round beverage. Moringa side effects and safety. Moringa is possibly safe when taken by mouth and used appropriately. The leaves, fruit, and seeds might be safe when eaten as food. However, it's important to avoid eating the rooter and its extracts. These parts of the plant may contain a toxic substance that can cause paralysis and death. Moringa has been used safely in doses up to 6 grams daily for up to 3 weeks. There isn't enough information to know if Moringa is safe when used in medicinal amounts. Special Precautions and Warnings, Pregnancy in Breastfeeding It's likely unsafe to use the root bark or flowers of mooring up if you are pregnant. Chemicals in the root, bark, and flowers can make the uterus contract, and this might cause a miscarriage. There is not enough information available about the safety of using other parts of mooring during pregnancy. Stay on the safe side and avoid use. Mooring is sometimes used to increase breast milk production. Some research suggests it might do this. However, there isn't enough information to know if it is safe for the nursing infant. Therefore, it is best to avoid mooring up if you are breastfeeding.